The ribbon is the primary interface component for accessing the various tools and functions in Revit architecture. The ribbon is organized into tabs, with each tab containing sets of related tools arranged into panels. There are three major components to the ribbon interface. The tabs, which appear across the top of the ribbon, switch between ribbons. Each ribbon contains a group of panels. Inside these panels are individual tools that can be used by clicking on the desired tool. Let's take a closer look. On the Insert tab, you can see that the panel names are Link, Import, Load from Library, and Autodesk Seek. If I click on the Modify tab, it contains tools for modifying elements. Similarly, the Annotate tab, I can see different sets of panels with commands relating to annotating views. The panels include Dimension, Detail, Text, Tag, and Symbol. So when you click on a particular tab on the ribbon, you see the panels containing groups of related commands. Now let's go back to the Home tab. Within the panels, you'll find three types of tools. Some buttons, like the Window tool, activates a specific tool. A split button, like the Wall tool, has the most used tool at the top, with a drop-down button that displays additional related tools. Some split buttons, like the Column tool, will switch between the default and alternate tools. Your choice remains current after executing the tool. The last type of tool is a drop-down tool, such as the Area tool. The most frequently used tool is displayed on the button, but you must click on the drop-down to expand the list and see the tool you wish to use. Some panels include a small triangle next to the panel name. For those, if you click on the panel bar, the panel expands to show additional tools. Other panels include a dialog launcher arrow in the lower right corner. Clicking on this button opens a dialog box. Now let's click on the Annotate tab to look at a tool itself. When you use some tools, such as the Text tool, notice that the ribbon changes to show a different set of tools for creating and formatting text. This is called a contextual ribbon because it displays tools that relate only to the context of the tool or element you are creating. Notice that you can still switch to another tab, but the contextual ribbon remains available until you finish using the particular tool. There are several ways to control the display of the ribbon. The Ribbon State button on the rightmost end of the ribbon lets us toggle through three ribbon display states. If I click this button once, the ribbon is reduced to tabs with each ribbon panel represented as a single button. If I move the cursor over one of these buttons, that particular panel expands to display all of its tools. When I move my cursor away from the panel, it collapses back to show just the tabs and panel buttons. If I click the button again, the ribbon is reduced even more. Now the ribbon is reduced to tabs and ribbon panel names. Again, if I move my cursor over a panel name, that particular panel expands to display all of its tools. When I move the cursor away from the panel, it collapses back to show just the tabs and panel names. If I click this button again, the ribbon is reduced completely. Now the ribbon shows only the names of the tabs. I can click on an individual tab to display its full ribbon tab. As soon as I move the cursor away from the ribbon, the ribbon reduces back to just the tab names. If I click on the button again, the ribbon is restored back to the full ribbon. Notice that I can also click on the small arrow 
to the right of this button to display a shortcut menu. Here I can choose to minimize to tabs, minimize to panel titles, or minimize to panel buttons. First, I enable one of these options, then clicking the ribbon state button toggles just between the full ribbon and the selected minimized ribbon. Then if I choose cycle through all, Revit Architecture reverts back to its default behavior for cycling through each ribbon state when I click the ribbon state button. Within any ribbon, you can click and drag a panel to relocate it within the ribbon. You can also click and drag a panel off the ribbon and into the drawing area outside the application window. When you drag a panel off the ribbon, it will remain visible and its tools will remain available even if you switch to a different ribbon. To return a panel to the ribbon, hover the cursor over the panel until you see sidebars and then click the return panels to ribbon button in the upper right corner. This will return the panel to the proper ribbon, to the ribbon and location it came from, even if that ribbon is not currently visible.